So if you have autonomic symptoms and you're dealing with MCAS specifically, where you're having mast cell activation, one way to think about it could be when I was in chiropractic school, there was this gal in our class and when she would get nervous, she would get these big red patches on her neck and on her upper chest. After getting to know her, we came to find out that she'd had this really bad head injury when she was a teenager, fractured her skull, had like a really hard time after that. She got into neurology. We started to do some things that just kind of addressed some of those deficits. And then we noticed that she stopped having the hives. And I think that's really useful to understand that when we think about mast cell activation, we're thinking about histamine responses. These are things that happen locally in the tissue in the skin, but the sensitivity to them is also regulated as an immunological component that's regulated in the hypothalamus, your brain. Even though it's a thing we really look at peripherally, a lot of it is managed through chemical responses downstream. What kinds of things are happening in the brain that are creating extra arousal, that are maybe creating that stress, head injury, infections in the brain, all the things that affect the brain can be culprits to this too.